This is MikeBot. I'm doing a quick video today on replacing the PTFE tube on the X1C. So uh, every now and then you'll notice that it's jamming, it's slow, it's uh, filament's not going in properly for whatever reason. And that's usually an indication that the PTFE tube is worn down on the inside. Now uh, replacement of this is very easy. You just need to make sure you have spare PTFE tubing, make sure it's measured correctly unless you buy the pre-cut sizes and it's a simple quick little swap. Uh, you might also get splitting or cracks in your PTFE tube, which is also an indication that it's time to replace it. So basically what you wanna do is pop off the front cover. Okay, so now what you wanna do, there's a little uh, device here, you press down on it and it releases the tube. Do not pull, if you pull you will break the teeth and you'll have to replace the entire filament sensor. So if you look carefully, there's a little black thing and this device here, is used to uh, release the tube. So press down on it like so, and then pull. And it should come out just like that. Now go to the other end, which is typically right here. Pull that out. Like this. Release it from here. Now I'm just gonna set my camera down for two seconds. So now what you wanna do is, if you have this device, pull it out and then remove the little um, lock here. It only goes out one way, so you won't be able to do it the other way without destroying the tube. Toss the old tube out, take the new one, feed it through right here. Actually, before I feed it through, let me get this thing put in. So like I said, it only goes in one way. And then feed that through until it comes out the other end. Let me adjust the camera here. Nice and easy. Like that. And then if you look in the back here, it's already coming out. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand carefully. You wanna feed that in, make sure it's locked in place. So that's all good. This end's all good. And now if you have the little uh, PTFE tube uh, line uh, feeder thing there, then put it back in. Feed your tube in gently, make sure it clicks. Give it a gentle, gentle plug, uh, tug to make sure it doesn't come out. Lock in your PTFE tube um, guide, then lock the metal plate back on. And that's it. So now you take your glass cover and gently put it back on. So now while I'm here, I'm gonna show you my, I'm gonna try to block the light here. So it's telling me a maintenance needs to be done. So I'm gonna hit the maintenance button here. And then it says my lead screws need to be lubricated. So I'm gonna hit done here and show you guys basically what you need to do. So open the printer. You wanna start by homing it. So while it's homing, I'm gonna prepare the uh, lubricant that I'll need to lubricate the lead screws. So what I typically do for this is I take an old toothbrush that I've dedicated to um, basically lubricating those. And then I use super lube. I have two different types. Today I'm gonna use this one, which is the not the synthetic stuff. And basically there's two ways to do this. You can either drip some on your lead screws like so. And then take your brush and brush it on. And you can already see the shine. And I'm just doing this roughly for the sake of the video. I will do a more thorough greasing afterwards for those that are gonna complain. 
Option two, drip some super lube on there and then rub it on the screw. And I'm just putting some more lubricant. And that's basically it for lubricating it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to lower and raise the bed several times to make sure the loop gets evenly distributed. The other way of doing this is obviously um, cleaning the screws off completely and then uh, wiping them clean and then adding fresh lubricant. So that's down all the way. Now I'm just going to give it another quick rubbing like so. And the printer will tell you when it's time to do this maintenance. Now I'm going to raise it back up. And I'm doing the uh, 10 millimeters at a time for those wondering. And I'm just pressing it repeatedly to make it smooth. And that's it. And then so what I like to do as well is I like to give the top a little bit of lubricant and the bottom. Now, like I said, it is a little dirty in there. I'm going to have to go do a thorough cleaning afterwards. Um, this is just a unique to me issue not to you guys that's why i'm going to do it afterwards off camera and i just realized this entire video has been crooked okay so one more time go down and up just to be safe make sure it gets thoroughly distributed and then i'm going to just hit home again and that's it that's how you do the uh, lubrication of the rods on your x1c or p1p series if you have any questions or comments please make sure to leave them below if you enjoyed that video hit the like button and once again please subscribe to my channel it is greatly appreciated thank you all for watching today Mike bot.